I feel sexy today. I feel tall and sexy guy. I don't know. And check this out. Today the hat that I'm wearing made me look taller. So I want to look taller. I'm, usually I'm 5'11. But at least I want to look today 6'2, 6'1. Guys, you saw me dancing, do you? Alright. So, guys, check it out. We're having a nice recipe today that I would like to share. We call it pimientos rellenos, mean a stuffed, a stuffed bell peppers. So for that, guys, we're gonna need three bell peppers, four ounces of ground beef, two small potatoes, two bay leaves, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper, two tablespoons of small, a small, oh my God, I said small. Two tablespoons of small diced onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one and a half teaspoon of <clears throat> salt and pepper together, one tablespoon of cooking oil, half cup of mozzarella cheese combined with cheddar cheese together. So what we're gonna do now, guys, <clears throat> we're gonna cut the onion nicely. We're gonna cut them in small dice all dark together what we're gonna do now we're gonna pelt them off very nice pelt them off after we pelt them off we slice them and dice them all right next thing will be we're gonna set them aside in water. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna heat the pan. We are gonna heat the pan and then we're gonna add the oil, the cooking oil. Now we grease the pan real good. We're gonna add the garlic. After the garlic, we're gonna add the onions. After we add the onions, we're gonna add <clears throat> the potatoes. Nicely, stir them up nicely. There you go. After that, we're gonna add salt and pepper. After the salt and pepper, we're gonna add the cayenne pepper. After the cayenne pepper, we're gonna add the ground beef. The four ounces of ground beef all together. Once we got everything working, we're gonna put the uh, at last we're gonna put the tomato paste along with some water. You will add water as uh, much as it needs. You know, wait now we have to let it boil, cook and boil for a while until the potatoes are soft and it get cooked evenly. So you gotta check the potato. Once the potatoes are potatoes are becoming soft, then it means that is ready. Okay, so now after we got this, we're gonna let them cook for a while. For around, let them cook for around 15 minutes, a little more than that, in low medium heat. All right. After that, we're gonna set the peppers, the three pepper. We're gonna set them in a tray, in a tray with uh, parchment paper. We're gonna need parchment paper and a tray. Set them up there. They come in, the lid is already take out the lid. So we're gonna stop now the, with the, now we're gonna stop the cook. The meat is ready, the brown meat is ready with the potatoes and everything else. Now we're gonna stop, with that mixture, we're gonna stop the green bell peppers. We're gonna stop them real good. After we stuff them real good, baby, we're gonna put the cheese on top. So this is gonna be the, this is the icing of the cake, guys. The icing of the cake is the cheese on top of all that, of all that ground meat on top of the bell pepper. Yeah. So while we have, we have all this ready, we're gonna put them in the oven from around, let's see, let's give them around 12 minutes at 350 
You're going to put them in the oven. And then later, after that time, give them around five minutes just uh, from bake. Uh, put them in broil for around uh, five minutes. Put it in broil so that way it will cook the top of the cheese. We'll make it cook and nice. All right. So this is ready, guys. This is ready. So now we're going to take them out from the oven. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at, look at how this good. Uh, how good it looks like, guys. Look at that. Wow! Whoa! Looks so nice. I'm so proud of my cooking and I'm so proud of you guys who are watching this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay guys, time to try it. So because I feel sexy today, because I feel tall and sexy, because you guys are helping me out here, I need you guys to turn me on. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Go! Go! All right. Let's try it, go. Look at that. I picked the biggest one. The cheese is there. Oh, my. Wow. Let's see what's going to happen now. Look at that. All that cheese there. Look at that. Look at that. All that cheese combined with all that ground meat and all that flavor. All those green peppers who were cooked there. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Don't you want to have that guy? Look at that. Try guys. They put a lot of cheese on it. Wow, this is like a pizza. Oh my god. Let's see. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so good. The potato all together with the ground meat, the seasoning, and the mozzarella. Is it like a little gluey? Gluey, gooey. Oh my gosh, wait. Going for my second bite. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, it tastes fabulous. When you eat this, it's like one of the, this is one of the best recipe. Uh, one of the best recipe. Uh, that I like most from the Caribbean cuisine. My grandpa used to do, to make this long ago. Wow. And it was something that I will never forget. An experience with it that I will never forget. However, he was, for me, he was the master. Wow. The master of that kitchen guy. And he showed me so much. Guys, I, I hope you like this review. This uh, cooking review. And uh, I will see you guys soon again. For another review. Please subscribe and give me some love and I will give you back. You give me 100 love, I give you 200 more, more love. Maybe. Receive from me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of love. My love for you guys is completely unconditional. I love you for free. I see you guys soon.